friends. It's uh, time for episode seven, I think, of Stitching with Reese. Uh, today I am at home. I am working from home today. Uh, I've uh, This is a sort of a late lunch break for me, so I thought I'd take this opportunity to film a video because I haven't done one for a little while. I keep meaning to do it. I was going to do one last weekend, but uh, the room that I film the videos in is really cold and it was really cold last weekend and I just didn't want to go in there in here so anyway uh so our uh office we're still working from we still have the option to work from home if we want to um court, all the court rooms are still virtual at this stage I think um they're starting to lift some of the restrictions so we might go back to to normal uh soonish uh, but I'm, I'm finding that I work better in the office. If I'm at home, I get too distracted by <laughs> stitching and various other things that are going on. Um, so uh, I, I worked from home today because I actually had an IKEA delivery coming today. Um, so I, someone had to be home. So anyway, that's all very interesting, I'm sure. Um, uh, today's video is going to be a bit hodgepodge. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to give you an update on how I went with uh, Stitch Mania. It's the it's almost the end of May. Um, I went I was off with a I went off with a flying start, um, but I kind of lost steam halfway through. Um, not really losing steam, as in I didn't really want to do the projects or start any new projects. But I think I just got a bit overwhelmed because I started a whole bunch of stuff, and it all just got a bit much, and I started freaking out and. Um, sort of wanting to go back and work on the on whips instead of starting new things. So uh, I think next, I think I'll do Mania again next year, uh, but I think I will reduce the number of projects. I think I had about 20 or 22 projects uh, in the basket to start. I haven't even started all of those, um, but I think next year I might limit it down a little bit because um, it was a bit much, but that's fine. Um, I, but I'll show you the ones I did start and the progress I've made on those. Uh, the other thing I will show, um, I'm going to do today is a, um, GGR parade extravaganza. Um, uh, after seeing Brenda and Laura's video, um, on the weekend and also the attic needlework, uh, their latest video, um, there's like a GGR extravaganza going on and uh, I love GGR and I thought oh I've got heaps of her charts and and a surprising amount of her stuff I've actually got kitted up as well but I haven't started um so anyway I just sort of do a little show you what um GGR designs I have um and that I'm um hoping to start uh so we'll do that and um and then if there's time depending on how long I ramble on for at the beginning um I'll do the second part of that stash dive into my box of little little packet charts uh which was which was fun people seem to enjoy that so I'll probably do it again um but yeah I might be a bit all over the place but uh first what um finish I have one finish one little finish um so I started this before Mania, but I think I finished it um, during Mania, I think. I'm just looking at my book to see when I, when I finished it. Oh, yeah, there we go. I finished it. Yeah. So I started it last month, actually. I started it in April, but I finished it a couple of weeks ago. Uh, so this is from the Blackbird Designs Sewing Club book, uh, which I don't have handy at this very minute and I'm just looking for okay um but I have finished in my garden there we go so that's uh one of the designs in the book um I stitched it on 40 count uh, vintage pearl barley, a little ex a little piece I had left over from something else. Um, I wasn't sure how to finish it. I didn't know that I had enough fabric to make it into a drum, but somebody um, commented um, or, or posted on or sent me a message on Instagram saying that um, I should have enough. So I might even try and finish it into a drum like it is in the book. So I'll keep you posted on that. But um, that's 
in my garden and I just used all the cord for um, uh, over dyed cottons for that. So that was my one little finish. Um, I've got two old finishes to show just because on my last video when I was going through that box of charts, uh, there was a Plum Street chart, uh, it was a Halloween design. I think it was um, like a scary, like a scary series, some scary series, I don't know. And I remember saying on the video, oh, I've done that one and I've got it at work. Well, I remembered to bring it home from work. Um, and here it is. And I finished it into a little pillow. So it's got a little witch and a snake and a cauldron and stuff. It's just really cute. Um, and I and I put this um, cool uh, fabric on the back with like a little ghosts and things. Yeah. So that's cute. So there's that one. Um, and then the other one I had, I was just tidying up um, and I just was sort of going through some of my old finished things. And um, someone had recently either started or finished this. It might have been Carol Saltbox Stitcher. I can't quite remember. Um, but it's uh, a Scarlet House chart. Um, and it's just a, it's a little one. And it's a little red chair sampler. And I finished this a couple of years ago. I still haven't framed it. But it's so cute. And I remembered when, um, when whoever it was was showing it. I, remember, I was like, I loved it. And I really enjoyed stitching this. It was so fun. And I, I stitched it in cottons. I didn't do the silks. I just did it in over-dyed cottons. And I think it's on, on a piece of um, picture this plus 40 count fog, I think. I think it's fog. But it's really cute. Anyway, so I just thought I'd show that just, you know, for fun. Um, all right, so those are finishes. Whip. Apart from all the stuff that I started for Mania, which you'll see shortly, um, I did work on Manor at Quaker Hill, uh, the Brenda Gervais design. That one. Uh, I was trying, I was hoping I might get it finished, but um, it's uh, there's quite a bit of stitching in the bottom part, um, which is the part where the house and the swans and all that stuff is. Um, but I've gotten a fair bit done. So I've done I've, all the way across the top is now done. Um, and that border is done. The other side border isn't. Most of the floral motifs are done. Um, and I've done the house, the tree. I've done the swans in their little pond. Um, I've just got to fill in the rest of that grass. Uh, I wonder why I've left that right till the end. Um, and finish off this border and there's another motif I think somewhere but um, it's definitely it's quite it's quite big someone else I think commented they didn't realize how big it was it is actually quite big this is 36 count um, but it's quite a big design but it's looking lovely I think so um, I'm aiming to definitely have that done by my next video so that's whip Everywhere here. It's madness. Okay, put that over there. Uh, right. So, uh, what do I do first? I might do the I'll do the mania stuff first. And then we'll get on to gee, oh and I've got some haul too. Um uh my haul is linens. Um got some linens recently from Nicole Goblin. Um and also some linens that I ordered a long time ago, wait before the um before COVID-19 um, and they, they arrived a little while ago, um, but I forgot about them. I forgot to show them on my last video. But, um, so I'll show you those at the end. Um, right, mania. Now, I wrote down the starts in my book. So I'll try and go through them in order. Um, a lot of these I haven't done, but the start is pretty, Pretty pathetic effort. Okay, I can't go through them in order because I can't. I don't know which ones. I can't find which ones which in the basket. So I'm just pulling them out. All right. So one of the ones I started was Ladida Quaker. 
This is super cute and it only uses two colours of silk. Needlepoint silk. So, or uh, MPI silk. I don't know, whatever it's called. So I started on a piece of 40 count sheep's straw by R&R. &R. And that's what I got done. Let's just do that. So I started over in this corner. So I've done a, what's that? A J or an I and an, and an H and some of the border. Um, really fun project. Didn't really want to put this down. Um, and I'll probably go back to it pretty soon because it's nice and quick because it's only two colours. Uh, a really, really dark brown and a sort of rosy brown. So that was a successful millimere start. Ooh, sorry. So that's one. started uh, one of the this little Pinebury Lane Noel ornament. Uh, I started that and what's the little needle doing? Stuck in that lady. Stuck in her. And I started it. And I did. So I've done Noel. It's a bit hard to, it's not showing up that great. And I've done the dress and the little wings of one of the little angels. So that's very cute. Um, that, that was a club kit from Dying to Stitch last year, I think. And it's a, it's winter, I think it's winter brew linen, I think. Well, that's what it says. And over dyed threads. So that's a little, that's a quick one that I'm hoping to get back to. So that was another successful mania start. Now, here's the sewing club book because I started another one out of this for mania. So the one that I've started is. This one. It's called Willing Hands. Super cute. Um, and I started this. Ah, yeah. And all I did was one side of the border. Oops, where am I going? And the dogs are off. Um, uh, so that's that one, um, and I've, I did that thing where I put all the colours for all the projects on my thingy, but there's a bunch of them in it. So that's Willing Hands, so that's another start. Mania. Okay. Oh yeah, this one, this one's good too. So, this is Kathy Barrick AH to EE, the Quaker sampler. And this is the one that I um, am doing in that really, really dark green called uh, Okafinoki. Um, I'm terribly sorry. I think I said it was Texas, somewhere in Texas. It's not Texas, Georgia. So, I'm all over it now. Um, and here is my start. This is on a piece of 40 count. Uh, it's one of Kitten Stitch's hand dyes, I think. But that's my start. Love this as well. Really want to get back to that. So that was another, another mania piece. Most of these I only worked on for one, like one day. And when I say one day, I mean like, an evening. Um, and 
That's why I haven't got an awful lot. Okay, this one. Now, I worked on this for more than one day because I loved it. I think I did two or three days' worth on this because I was like, oh, I'm just going to do this one now and not any other others because um, it's super, super awesome. Sorry. Russell. Kathy Barrick, Ocean Blue Stocking. Um, doing it on Sea Fog by R&R &R with the MPI silks. And I've started at the top. And it is super cool already. I have done two swans and most of this little alphabet and this little border here. This is so cute. So I can't wait to get down to... So there's the swans and the thing. So I could do the rest of this little alphabet, some swirly things, and then this awesome ship. And then, wah, whale, sea things. Love it. So, yeah, love that. Big fan of that. So these ones, I think most of these were all sort of, yeah, I started, I was all excited. I'm like, yep, I'm starting stuff. And then it was sort of, after I started that stocking and I wanted to keep working on that, I think that's when I started to lose a bit of mania mojo. Um, and I started getting a bit overwhelmed. But I kept going. Um, okay. This one I started. Uh, my start is like this. Not even a thing. So this is Reflet de Soir. Antoinette Carrera, 1860, wait, 1862. Love it. I dropping things, dropping things. Oh, nice. uh, I started it on 37 count Russian tea cake legacy linen. Um, I started in the middle. I don't know why I did. I just did, decided to start in the center instead of one of the corners. Um, yeah, it's huge. And that's what I got done. So it's pretty lame. It's a few letters and part of a leaf. So yeah, exciting. Um, but I will get back to this because it's lovely. The linen's really nice to work with um, so far. And I'm using the cord for a Verisoir silks, but I haven't, as you can see, they're just in a complete schmozzle. Um, I haven't organized them properly. get back to that um the other one i did this was more of a mania restart than a new start so a few videos ago i was talking about this amazing everything's falling over this amazing chart it's another reflet de soir it's yvonne leclerc 1905 and it's just everything um and I'd started it and I'd done the parrot, or most of the parrot, and, but I was doing it on old weeks linen. Um, and I just found that because I'm using the silk, silk's a bit heavier, I think, than cotton. And I just felt it wasn't cope, the silk, the silk, the linen just wasn't coping and I didn't like how it was looking. So I scrapped it and I got some different linen. And uh, during Mania, I restarted it. Um, so. I'm using 36 count Zweigart linen uh, winter moon. It's not um, over dyed or mottled or anything like that. It's just a really nice sort of creamy color. And really when you've got something this amazingly busy, you don't, I don't think you need an over dyed linen for something like this because it's just gonna speak for itself really. So anyway, I started, so, um, I didn't want to just go, I started on the other side because I didn't want to do the parrot all over again, even though I'd save him till later because it was boring. Um, so I started with the peacock on the other side instead. And he is looking sharp. Let's see. Here he is. Again, this thing is just huge, this thing. It's just insane. Um, but there he is. Oh, 
I haven't finished him, obviously, but how good does he look already? Love it. The silks are so cool. They really make it look amazing. He really pops. Yeah, so that was a restart. So, was, so I'm very happy with that. And I do want get, to get cracking on that. Um, so I can, I want to get down to the, um, I want to work down to, to here and start doing this amazing floral border um, because the colours are just unbelievable. So that was a restart success. So I'm counting that as this maybe a start. Um, another one. I got quite a bit done on this one. I don't, uh, maybe it was a weekend or maybe it was a... I don't know. This must have had more time on my hands. Uh, not Forgotten Farm, Hickety Pickety. It's a bit hard to see the chart there, but here's my start. Oh, yeah, I did get a fair bit done. So I got the words Hickety Pickety and my, and it says Hickety Pickety, my black hen. She lays eggs for gentlemen, and I've got quite a bit of those leaves done. So that won't take long to finish, I don't think, so I'm going to try. I'll try and get that one whipped up. In time for my next video but that's a cute little chart that's on some 40 count um slacks maybe it's another spot just as what i got um and it's uh over dyed cotton um the purple the main the color of the lettering is that um old purple paint color which is Quite a cool colour. Everything's showing up a little bit lighter on the video today. I'm not sure why, but just FYI. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I started this little one, which was my little Halloweeny Spell of the Moon Blackbird Designs. Um, very cute. Well, this is ridiculous. I did part of a tree that you can't even tell is a tree. Yeah, it's pretty pathetic. Um, but anyway, I'll get back to Again, that's a pretty quick stitch. It's only got three colours in it. One of them is this cool um, yellowy orange. It's Harvest Moon. I like that colour. It's really cool. Um, so, yeah, that should be a quick whipper upper. Um, I think that's why I started to lose a bit of steam in Mania because as I was starting these, especially these smaller ones, I was like, if I just kept stitching this, I'd finish it in like a few days. But I was like, no, must start the next Mania project and it all just went a bit haywire, to be honest. Um, anyway. Uh, there are some... There are some I actually haven't even, I didn't even start, that, that were in the basket to start, and I didn't even start them. Um, but that's fine. I, I'll start them. Wait. It's okay. Uh, I did start the B Skep, which was a, which is from the, the Agnes Platt uh, book. It's like bird designs. Um, here it is, the B Skep. I love this. Again, see, I was like, oh, I just want to work on this. Uh, and I started, I, again, it's a pretty lame effort. Um, oh my God, I can't get my... Well, look, the chart of Spell of the Moon just fell out. Or my working copy just fell out. Oh my God, it's a disaster. Um, and I've literally just done that. So that's not that great. But anyway, I will get back to that because I very much like that B skip. Fine. Uh, here's another one. This is the last one of the Mania stuff. Um, oh yeah, this one's exciting though. Uh, so, okay, two rabbit sampler, bloody da, love this, super cute. Also love my exciting. Look at these thread drops. what DMC number it is. 
and these were um, a gift, a stitchy kindness gift from my lovely friend Lisa, uh, who lives in Queensland, which is another state in Australia. Uh, and she sent these to me for this. She's also stitching this same uh, sampler. And so she sent me some thread drops. Aren't they cool? They're so cool. So thank you, Lisa. And um, I started uh, on a piece of it's R and R something. I don't know. <laughs> Literally, that's all I've done. <laughs> Is it even really a start? It's pretty lame. But I did put all my threads on the thread drops. And that's the most important thing. And look how nice these colours are. These are DMC. So nice. Look at this. What? Awesome. Okay, so I want to get back to that one as well. Um, so those were all the starts. I didn't even start the one that kicked the whole thing off, which was the mermaid. I haven't even started that. Although it's still, what's today? Today's the 28th. So maybe I will start that one um, over the next couple of days. So at least I will, can say that I've mermaid something. Okay, so, crikey, um, my hair's a disaster. Um, I'm actually getting my hair cut tomorrow. My hairdresser's open again now, um, and I'm, we're allowed to go there. Uh, so, tomorrow my hair will, I might start looking a bit less like a crazy lady. Um, okay. So that was the Mania Insanity. Uh, I might just pause and put the Mania stuff away so I can get the next bit ready, which is the GGR Spectacular. Okay, back in a sec. And we're back for part two. Um, so, uh, GGR. Um, totally stealing this idea from Brenda and Laura and The Attic, but I was just so excited by all the GGR stuff that I couldn't help it. Um, now, in terms of finished GGR designs, uh, I've stitched two GGRs, uh, well, I've finished two. One is the Rose Wreath Sampler, which I showed in one of my early videos. It was either the first or second video. Um, it's now rolled up in a, like a packet, like a tube thing, and I wasn't going to get it all out again to show it again in this video. Um, but if you want to see, if you haven't seen any of my earlier videos, just have a look. I think... It's either the first or second video where I show my finish of that. And that's like huge. Um, the only other GGR piece that I've finished is, and I don't know where I put the chart. It's somewhere, but I'm not quite sure where. Is uh, It's called Retta or Rita Suggett. Um, and it's just a little red work sampler. And the verse is really lovely, I think. It's, um, it says, be kind to one another. This is a world of care and there is enough of needful woe for everyone to bear. And that's stitched on some 40 count, just some plain white 40 count linen uh, with the called for thread, uh, which was, it was a week's, I think it was a week's, and I can't remember which red it was. Uh, baked apple, maybe? Not 100% on that, though. Yeah, so that's my own. That's my second GGR finish. So that's all I've got in terms of GGR finishes. Neither of them are framed. i um, hoping to get to the framing shop um, now that um, some of the shops are reopening with, like, sort of limited customers and stuff. I'm wondering if the framing shop's going to open or may already be open. should probably check that. Um, yeah, so I can go and get some stuff framed. Um, so that's my GGR finishes. I do have GGR whips. Again, only a couple actually, surprisingly. Um, now one of them, I'll, I'll tell this story. Um, so the, um, the Cruel Goblin has a stitch along every year. And, uh, this year uh, it kicks off. It's sort of between October and October generally. Like, um, so, uh, the one that will be on, display this October uh, at our annual get together is, excuse me, a Devonter duo. And there's two 
designs in this. Um, one's by Shishiar and one's by Needlework Press. So I am doing the one by Shishiar, which is this one, IDL1806. And I had all the threads. I had a lovely piece of, I had a piece of 46 count linen that I was going to do it on. And um, myself and one of my sewing friends, Sue, we decided that we were going to start it on, it was either Christmas Day or the 1st of January. I can't remember which, but anyway, I was away on holidays at the time. I think it might've been Christmas Day. Um, I was away on holidays, but I took it all with me, you know, and, and I started it and, I, and I'd gotten... I did most of the letters, which are like four-sided stitch. I did a bunch of the border. I did a couple of these little, I did the cherries and something else, you know, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, happily stitching along. Looks great. Um, and I thought, oh, look, I might as well just get all of the top border done. So I'm going along, going along. And it was then that I realized that the piece of linen I had was too small. I had miscalculated and cut it too short so basically and it wasn't a situation where too short as in oh i could maybe scrape it with the framing it was like a page a page worth of stitching would was just not gonna fit so i had to stop i had to scrap it and then i was like oh i'm not restarting it's all too depressing and i was you know being super melodramatic about it um but i have restarted it um and i've restarted it on a piece of lakeside linen um a uh, 40 count uh vintage hang on i kept the little tag vintage lentil i think it is yep vintage lentil here's all the threads um and I've restarted it again. I, it's a skimping. It's skimping on the border, uh, height wise, but I think it'll be fine. And I think like a decent frame, I should be able to do it properly. Um, so this is my second start, second attempt. And there's what I've done. So I've done the bird done the corner I've done this little thing and I'm just working on this big what even is it big vase of something I think so it's really lovely and here's the colors so the colors are great it's a mix of weeks dye works and there's a few DMCs in there as well I think so just doing the over dyed cottons uh so uh as I said, we have our annual get together in October. Um, and when I started this on Christmas day, the other, the other version, I thought, Oh yeah, I'll easily get that done by October. No problem. But now that I've restarted it, I've only restarted it recently. I'm like, mm, am I, is there a realistic chance I'm going to get this done by October? I don't know. And I can't decide whether I should just, you know, knuckle down and work on this and try and get it done or whether to just, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I need like a stitching life coach to tell me how to organize my stitching things and what to work on. If anyone wants to be my stitching life coach, give me some help. Um, okay, so that's that one. So that's a G that's one GG whip. Uh, the other GG whip that I have is actually a mania start. And I should have probably done this in the mania section, but I'd already put it in the GGR pile, so it all got confusing. Um, so I started Martha S. Scott, 1876. Super cute. Uh, I did... My start is pretty non-existent. Again, this was a mania piece that I worked on for, you know, an evening. Um, so I've just done some lemon yellow and some black on the border. That's it. Um, but again, this is quite a small, sweet little sampler. Um, and I'm hoping I can get back to it and get it done. Um, there's a lot of colours in it. I think I said this last time. I need to free up some of these colours. There's like f 7 billion colours in it. And it's only like a little sample. Anyway. 
good. So that's my other GG whip. Um, and those are the only two whips that I have. So I have two finishes, two whips um, for Gigi. Now, kitted up. I went through my box of kitted up stuff to find all the Gigi things that I had kitted up. Um, there weren't as many as I thought, actually, but one I completely forgot about uh, that I even had. So that's good. Uh, so kitted up Gigi's. And I think I might have shown some of these before in my sort of immediate radar or something. Uh, a Fair Lady Sampler. Love this so much. Just love it. If I hadn't have already started like 400 million new projects in the Mania thing, I'd probably start this. Maybe I will anyway. I don't know. I just love it. Uh, I've got the threads. Oh, I haven't put them on a ring. No. But I do have some. Oops, everything's falling apart. Um, and a piece of... 40 count beige weeks to stitch it on. So definitely want to get to that. I love it. Um, and a um, uh, lovely sewing friend of mine, um, Libby, uh, has recently finished it. And it's just beautiful. So definitely need to get a wriggle on with that one. So this one I kitted up after I saw the video. I think it was Brenda and Laura and, and someone else. They were all doing the Isabella Fox. They were doing a stitch along. Um, I didn't start it, but I just thought I'd get it kitted because I like it a lot. Um, and I've also got a pretty cool piece. This is a piece of Weeks. I think it's Mocha in 46 count that I was going to do it on. Um... I think I've got most of the threads. There might be a few missing. I'm just doing over dyed cottons. I was, and I think I said in another video, I was a bit worried that some of these browns might get lost on the brown, but it looks like it's okay from here. I think I'll just give it a go and see how it looks. Because I wanted to try the 46, the weeks 46. I haven't used the weeks 46 before. So. Um, now this is the one I completely forgot about. Um, so the chart is... Jane Southwood, 1836, La Maison Rouge, Red House. Look at this. I forgot I even had this. And I think it was maybe the attic video showed it. I think because someone mentioned this, was talking about this flower. And I was like, hmm, okay. And then when I was looking through my kitted up box, I was like, there, that's that one. Um, so not only do I have the chart, but I've also got it fully kitted with some linen... Dames of the Needle Linen Shroom Juice. I don't even know. It looks, um, God, what is this linen? It looks a bit flimsy, but the colour is really cool. And, um, and here's the colours. So there's heaps of nice, um, hang on. I can never do this properly. There's heaps of nice, um, pinks and reds in there. Look at all those. There's another red, pink, red. What are they? What are the pinks? Poinsettia? Poinsettia? I don't know how you say that. Um, what's that? Aztec Red. That's a good one. Uh, what's this? And this must be the house. I'd say Red Rocks for the house. Weak style works. Yeah. So, can't believe it. I thought, oh, maybe I'll start that as well. See, this is, this is why I can't work from home anymore. It's just ridiculous. So that's kitted. Better get on to it. Get my skates on. Okay, so those are my kitted Gigi patterns. Uh, and then, of course, I've just got like a bunch of her charts, including some that I ordered recently that arrived yesterday after watching the Floss Tube videos. Uh, so. I think a lot of these pe people have shown on their videos, but so I'll just go through them pretty quick, but I'm not gonna take them out of the plastic. Miss Manners, love this. I think Nicole's working on this at the moment and um, Carol's maybe finished it. I don't know, it's just lovely. So, um, yep. Love it. 
um, this one's really cool. Again, it's got like, they've all got like 50 billion colors in them, even though they're just little. Uh, this is called Madonna and Child Sampler 1862. Love that. Uh, and that calls for Weeks Dye Works Confederate Grey and a whole bunch of threads. I mean, look how many threads. That's not, that's two whole columns. This is huge. Like, it's not very big. 185 by 182, and it's like 8,000 colours. Anyway, hopefully I've got most of them. Uh, I think um, Jean from the Attic had started this one um, on 50, I don't know, 200 count or something. Um, no, like 56 or 53 or something. This The, the photo, she usually puts the uh, antique photo on hers. This is Elise Schluter, 1866. Look at that border. And if you look at the Attic's video, you'll see, I think Jean started and she's done the butterfly and it just looks stunning. So that's gorgeous. Uh, this is WE1839, a sampler from Holland. So this is a cool Dutch sampler. And that's... Um, on they've used Coco from Weeks Dye Works, size 257 by 237, so it's not massive, but you know, that's cool. Uh, this is Elizabeth Anderson 1775. Gee, this is cool. I like this, that border's really cool. Actually, I think my friend Jean, Miss Linen, um, maybe I think she started it. Because I think we were talking about the red, the colour for these flowers. Love that. Uh, this one. This is Mary A. Bunce, 1846. And this is, I like the colour palette of this one. It's lots of sort of darker tealy colours and browns and greens. There's not actually that many colours in it, but... Um, for once, blue spruce, toffee, harvest basket, mountain mist, roasted marshmallow, flax, airland gold, endive, brandy, dark chocolate, picnic basket, pine. Yeah, so it's kind of like these browns and tealy greens and stuff. I like that. Uh, this is very cute. Again, it's the small ones are the ones with all the colours. This is a little Dutch sampler number two. I don't have a little Dutch sampler number one. 1870. So cute. Oh, there's a bit of glare there. Sorry. But look. Look at all the colours. There must be, every single letter on here must be a different colour. It's, it's just. Anyway. All good. I'll stop complaining about the amount of colours in the small duty ourselves. Um. This, I love this, This is, a, but this is a pretty epic undertaking, like the rose wreath was, which took me like seven years to finish. Um, Elizabeth Biggs, 1833. I think it's a morning sampler, which I also love. Love that colour palette, love the border, love everything. Um... Oh yeah, so this, oh, I need to start this. It, it's just, in, as, I think as Brenda and Laura were saying, like, why haven't I, why haven't I started this? I love this. Oh, it's a bit glary. This is Mary Griffiths, 1873. And it's a Welsh sampler. And it's just so cool. I really need to get onto that. Okay, the last four are the ones that I ordered the other day um, from Nicole Goblin and they sent them out to me. Uh, and these were the ones that I ordered mainly based on watching the floss tubes and I realised I didn't have them and I needed them stat. So, um, Sarah Esther Beeston, 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 Sarah Esther Beeston, age 12. And this is, um, worked on a darker colour. And I think, again, Jean from the Attic had done one of the figures and I think she'd used silk and it was just stunning. So... Um, I'd like to maybe use silk for this one. That's that one, Sarah Esther Beeston. 
Uh, this one, I think Laura's working on this, and a few people have showed it. And I, um, I thought I had the chart, but I don't. The lady in red spinning her wool. Love this. I can't remember. Laura, um, were you doing DMC? Or, oh, I don't know. I can't remember. But yeah, love that. Gorgeous. Uh, and this one, now I like this one a lot. And it's, um, probably wouldn't take that long to stitch, actually. And it's a bit Quakery, sort of. Uh, Mar Margaret Withrow, age 14, 1809. It's just a cute sampler. And then the last one, um, I just love this. I need to get, get cracking. <gasps> Look at this. It's called, it's just called the colour red. Um, it's just, wow. Love it. Look at this. Donkey bird roses letters i love stitching letters um i know some people don't like doing the alphabets and and can't wait to get to the bottom part where the motifs or whatever i mean i like the motifs as well but i love stitching letters and alphabets i could i could just stitch you know the dictionary it would just be i'd just be like aardvark what comes after aardvark i don't know but literally i would stitch the dictionary I love stitching letters. Okay, I sound insane, but it's true. So, yeah, this has got lots of cool alphabets and letters on it. So, all right. So, that's all my GG stuff. Um, if you, uh, any of the charts, um, if you're in Australia, the Cool Goblin has almost all of GGR's charts in stock. Um, so I would recommend them as a place to get your GGR fix if you're in Australia or even if you're not, but shipping is a bit mad. Now, when I ordered those Gigi charts from the Cool Goblin, I also ordered some linen because I thought, why not? Um, so I got a piece of Weeks, uh, Zweigart Base Weeks beige, 36 count. I've got a fat quarter of that. Love that colour. Look at that. Nice. Nice. So I don't know what I'm going to do on that. Just part of my linen stash. Um, I also got da, 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 some legacy linen, 53 count, in gothic ivory. Because I'm going to try 53 count. I'm going to put on my magnifying glasses um, and give it a go and use a hoop. I mean, you can't even, you can't even, it just looks like a piece of white fabric. But um, I'm going to give 53 count a go. No, I don't know what, what with or what chart. If, um, if anyone wants to, if, if you want to leave a comment um, with any recommendations for what you think I should stitch as my first 53 count project um and have you stitched with 53 or have you stitched with anything higher than say 40 or 46 before um if so any pointers or how did you find it um and yeah what i wonder i'm trying to think what would be a good sort of starter project for this i don't want to start some ginormous you know epic thing i just want to sort of do something maybe small to test out whether whether it's doable or not my eyesight is like I'm I can see really well close up so I don't know that it'll be that that bad but I'm not sure I did try 56 count once um but the, the fabric was really really dark it was it was darker than this it was like brown basically and I really struggled I couldn't see it so hoping that a lighter color might be better um and the other linen that I got um sorry Hold, please. Ah, here we go. So I've um, been kitting up uh, gradually and now have finished kitting up. Uh, consider the lilies. So I got the chart uh, after, straight after market. Um, I've also now got all the threads. 
oh I think or most of the threads I don't know if there were any missing but the, if there were there were only a couple but yeah got the threads and because I'm basically stalking the coal um I got the same linen that she used um and this is and this is from um Seraphim hand dyed fabrics by Laurie uh I don't know if she's dying at the moment because as I said I ordered these before COVID really hit so I'm not sure what the situation is at the moment but um so I ordered the dusty road in the 40 count that um Nicole's stitching hers on because it just looks so beautiful and also I like trying out new linens and um I'd never never even heard of this linen until Nicole mentioned it on her video but and I haven't started it yet I don't know when I'm gonna start it um ginormous for starters but um i just love it i love everything about the chart the linen feels beautiful um so that's that piece and of course because i was ordering <laughs> that piece from laurie um and because i was um asking her to ship overseas i thought well you know might as well try out some of the other pieces if i'm gonna pay for the postage for one piece I should try some other colours. So, sorry, I'll just put this away. Right, so that's kitted up for, I don't know, who knows when I'll start that. Sorry, there's a lot of crinkling going on because they were in a crinkle bag. Okay, so I got, so that, I got a, a fat half of that for the, for the, consider the lilies. But then I got some fat quarters and of, these are all 40 count, uh, sandstone. Try and, um, every, it's a bit darker. Everything's coming out light on the video today. So it's a bit darker than that, but yeah, that's probably a bit more accurate. Sandstone. Um, oh yeah, this is lovely peach tea this is a sort of a little bit orange art that's not showing up very well at all on the the color's not showing up that great um no maybe if i go out a bit mm, it's a bit better peach tea uh what's this Ooh, dead sea scroll this is pretty cool oh that's pretty accurate yeah that's cool Love that. And old stationery. This is nice too. They're all lovely actually. Really nice sampler sort of colours. So pretty happy with those. So that's some some linen haul to add to my linen stash. Exciting. Haven't decided haven't got any particular project in mind for any of those at this stage. No doubt something will take my fancy. <sighs> okay. Um, I might save the stash dive for the next video because I think this is already getting almost to an hour. And I'm starting to lose my voice, not because I've got COVID-19, but just because, I don't know. I've been yakking for a while. Um, so, um, that is pretty much it. Um, thank you again to everyone who commented on my last video. Um, as I said before, I love reading all your comments. Um, I've been watching, um, oh, that's right. I was going to mention a couple of flush tubes that I'd watched that I really liked. Um, oh, apart from the obvious, like Brenda and Laura, Nicole's Needlework, Saltbox Stitcher, Carol. Um, there are a couple of newer ones that I was watching and I really liked them. Oh, um... Barbara's daughter. I think Brenda and Laura might have might have mentioned her. Um, if you if you do a search for Barbara's daughter in YouTube, uh, she's got about maybe five or six videos. I uh, really enjoyed her videos, and I can't remember. Sorry, I'll I'll put a link in the in the thingy below um, to the other ones that I was watching. Um, yeah, so. That's about it from me. Um, this room will probably be different next time I film because the IKEA delivery that I got today is actually a big sort of built-in wardrobe thing that's going to go against um, 
the wall that I'm currently facing um, so for some storage and then I'm gonna put it um, move my desk and stuff to the other side of the room try and set up a try and make it a bit neater in here as I said we're sort of in between houses in a sense um, we're keep we're actually now keeping this house but we are still gonna buy another one but um, it's just all a bit of a schmozzle <laughs> that's fine uh, yeah so uh, that's it for today. Uh, thank you for watching. Um, happy stitching. And hopefully I'll have a few more finishes to show in my next video. Okay. Thanks everyone.